universe. Hello? Hello, dear viewers. Really happy to meet you. Maybe you can tell a little bit about yourselves. Who are you? Oh, so we are in the lab. Okay, we will start um, after some eight minutes. And now you can see the space we are working on. And stay tuned to find more about how to create a responsive web design. <laughs> we have three viewers. Oh, that's awesome. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, so everybody, can you be quiet for half an hour? No, 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 no just here. Yeah, just this, on the, this table. That's okay, but this table is near the microphone. Just. <laughs> So I think we can start this uh, workshop second. So Jans will introduce. Yeah. So hello, and welcome to the second live online workshop. And this workshop is all about breakpoint usage. So that means that in 30 minutes we will uh, learn how to create responsive web design, to show and hide elements on different screens, and also how to set the custom breakpoints. This is, is our talented designer, and he again will guide you through this journey. So, this is where we start. So, hello, as I said, I'm Dizis. Let's change to screencast video. I will share. Wait. So, what we're going to build today, uh, as Jan said, we're going to create. Uh, responsive design using, using breakpoints, uh, and I will show how to write like this simple page. Uh, I'm going to show like uh, how to show and hide elements in different breakpoints, and uh, how to change different properties uh, between the different breakpoints. So let's change. As you can see, there is. Changing a color and in a grid widget, you can it breaks to two columns, and we are going to 1024 pixel breakpoint. You can see we have three columns mm -hmm. in here. Yeah. So let's change to 480. It can be for mobile phones or some devices. So screen size, um, and it breaks to one column. Yeah, so this whole guide is about how to style and format all your widgets mm -hmm. so it best fits different screen sizes. Yeah. So, 
uh, nowadays we have many devices and resolutions, and it doesn't stop here. So we have like laptops, tablets, TV, mobiles, e-books, etc. Uh, creating a website layout version for each resolution and new device would be impossible. Like it's in, it is possible, but uh, we have so many different screen resolutions, so we don't need to do that for every resolution. And uh, yeah, and then we have like retina displays with high pixel density. The retina displays have like from 1.5 to 2 times higher pixel ratio. But uh, yeah, it does mean that widescreen with a 1024 pixel like breakpoint uh, must be 2048 pixel. It's all about pixel ratio, yeah. which is the ratio between logical pixels and physical pixels. So if you are asking uh, if you're using like retina display, if I need to set breakpoint 1024 or 248, so it's going to be the same for retina and for standard uh, resolution screen. Mm. Um, yeah, responsive websites are built on fluid grid and use media queries to control the design and its content. It scales up or down depending on browser device. And uh, like breakpoints is a media queries uh, which you can see in here. It, it, those are breakpoints and you can like if you want to like different breakpoint size you can drag and set breakpoint as you want. Mm -hmm. well, so I will show you how to create uh, this page from the sketch. And let's begin. Uh, I'm going to go and create blank page. And first of all, let's create a container. Like this container will be for header. I can rename it header. And now I'm going to create another container with the max width 1000 pixels. And width is going to be like 19 persons because uh, we don't want that uh, like container edge is going to be to content going to be to browser edges so let's drag this container into header and for the header i will set color like brown yeah so you say it can be a little bit easier and uh, let's create like logo for this uh, workshop so all about breakpoints about it's just gonna standard formatting I will choose the open sans for the font I will change the width and size to print five and drag into this container with the max width. And change the color to white, as you can see. And create, let's copy it, paste. Breakpoints, for this I'm gonna set like background color to some lighter red color. And as you can see, this container text widget uh, by default with is out of, so it means 100 pixels. It's uh, fluid, not 100 pixels, but 100 persons. So, but I want this like uh, static width, like pixel width, and let's set like 300 pixels. It's okay, it's 340 or even more. And it looks nice. So now I want to remove margin over here. So it's aligns to gray. Okay. 
Uh, and now let's copy again the text widget and change it to arrange in widget tree. Yes. So if I want a title, uh, it's not the same, but it's not about like commenting text in this uh, mm -hmm. like. Yes, this is more about regular usage. And in the previous one, we were um, giving a lot of advice how to form the text. So if you haven't seen it, we have uh, uploaded it in docs.front.com. And there you can find the previous workshop. And even there is a, oh, we, there is a tutorial about like no, breakpoints, uh, but now we can show you. We're creating it. Mm -hmm. How to do this? Everything we have tutorials for, in, uh, like from beginning to the end. Um, so, if now I'm going to different breakpoints, as you can see, everything looks nice and nothing great. But if you want to like change some properties or hide some uh, content, so. Just go to different breakpoint, like 10, 24. And as you can see, I using like uh, chose text widget breakpoint. And I can change background color to something else. Uh, let's change to green color. Uh, but yeah. green color is then 768 pixels. Let's change to different color, let's say blue, and 480, change to yellow. And if we are changing breakpoints, let's go to preview mode, you can see different breakpoints, like text widget changing color. Now I can see that we have one thing. Position if you want persons will change to 90 persons. You can see now it's aligned to browser. I just uh, with padding and yeah, even you can like change font size if you want uh, smaller in like mobile or tablet. Change like to plus six. Six and, and for the text widget, I'll go to my six here. And if you are changing some properties in 768 breakpoints, so uh, it stays in 480 breakpoint, but if you're going higher, you can see that font size is bigger. So Let's create grid widget, and uh, in this grid widget, I, I will show you how to hide on one column and break to two columns, and then break to one column. So again, I will create a container with uh, same settings for like this container with a max with thousand pixels and with nineteen percent. I can copy the style like command C. Copy and command shift V. It's based style, not the content. And now I will create a grid widget <coughs> and drag into this container. But if I want to create like something like uh, content like this, uh, I need to upload like uh, create a container and see the widget. Container, widget tree, and in this container there is an SVG image, text widget with the title, and text widget with some random text. But uh, I will copy that and paste it in our project. And now drag into grid. So. There is our font color. No. Well, 
something, something not good in here. <laughs> <laughs> but it's an easy fix first, so that's okay. Yes, so, you know, let's create from the scratch. It's going to be easier to show how to do this from the scratch. So now I'm going to upload an SVG file. And I found an asset prepared. I can drag and drop onto the SVG widget. I'll drag into the container. Write the text widget. Call it first column format like here, center it. And one more text widget for more mixing text. You can see there is a button you can push and it's more text. But I want so many texts, so let's delete half on it. And again, I will drag and drop into this container. And container is like a group, so I can drag, drop into the grid widget. And this container, I want after container. But I will fix that like, position. There's a minus top margin, so I will delete it and everything. Okay. For the container, same. And for the space, I will set to a um, margin top value for, uh, let's call it content widget. If I will open it, you can see there is a grid. And here, center. And it's also margin top layer. And now I want to copy this uh, this container. And if I paste it, you can see it's copied well pasted in the second column. But for the grid. Uh, in properties, let's set column count to three. Again, I will copy paste container. Let's count second. And third column. I found it a little bit too big, so set smaller. Now I will copy the style and paste the style. This style, paste the style, and paste the style. So we have three columns now. And if we are changing to different breakpoints uh, with like 10, 24 breakpoint, oh, we have some mistake in here. What's wrong? So content, content margin value is not in the Let's change to 10, 24 breakpoint. <laughs> And still, it looks nice, like with the three cons. Uh, but if you're going to 768 breakpoint, it's too thin. Like three cons, uh, like content is too close. Now we can like break our grid. If I choose grid and change column count to two in breakpoint 768, you can see we have like in two columns content. And but now it's not move so well because we have like two columns in the second row. So let's hide it. We can hide it in widget three. As you can see, there is an icon. If I click on it, so it's hidden. 
uh, if we are going to 10, 24 breakpoint, we have all three columns and content like you can see container till content container and in Stellar City 8 breakpoint, you cannot see this third container. And if I change to 480, it's still like two things, two columns. So again, I can change grid column count to one, and it breaks to one column. And we can manipulate with this uh, hiding and changing properties values uh, in different breakpoints. Now, let's create like uh, unequal grid for uh, like left uh, altered element like picture, and then like some just example product description with the product title, text, and button. And if I change different breakpoints, you can see I create that image. Uh, image container breaks to one column like 200% and it stays in smaller breakpoints the same and button is centered. So for that, let's create container. In our knowledge base, you can see there is a like unequal, uh, how to create unequal grid system but if you want to see in detail description, you can go to the knowledge base and see that you know, I will set margin top to VMs. And let's create a container and drive into this container. Let's call it like unequal grid. <coughs> but it's uh, consists of two containers, drag also to an equal grid container. I will call it left and right. So an equal grid is a uh, position in position tab. You can see grid is outer. It's in default settings. Um, and it's 100%. So for the left, let's say it's going to be 40%. And for the right, 60% because like, both of them is it like 100% that we need to like next to each other those two containers. So in properties tab in advanced settings you can set fold to left and for the right the same. Left and yeah we have like unequal grid which consists of uh, two containers and mine container, like an equal grid. Now I will add an image widget. And again, for my assets, I will upload sample bag picture and drag into the left container. So we have a nice uh, web-sided image. And for the for the content, we can create like some title. Let's call it black bag format. And this text widget, I'm going to drag into the right container. And it's position and center, so let's change to 100%. And now let's create some, let's copy like this lower mixing text, right into my container. <coughs> and for the button, I will copy like title. Like next to description, and let's call it by. 
it's all safe. Okay. And now for the button, I want to fix the fix the wheel. Let's say 400 pixels. Mm -hmm. oh, no, it's too big. Well, let's say 200 pixels. And set center text. And in advanced settings, I will set order like three pixels solid. Color and I can top say maybe like one EM <coughs> in, in properties tab in margin in filled with and delete everything that aligns to the left. And I deleted like top margin value and so let's set again. Let's say zero comma five. Yeah. yeah, and we have like two two uh, columns, but it's unequal. So it's 40 pixel, 40 persons, and this container is uh, 60 persons. And now, if we are changing to different breakpoint, like 10, 24, you can see it's uh, adapts to page width, but it's not look look so well in smaller screen size. So we want to break those two columns in one. So for that, let's let's do it in 668 breakpoint. Left container. And for the width, let's set not 40 pixels, 40 persons, but 100 persons. And as you can see, now it's in one column. And we need to screen. What? It fits the screen. Yeah, it fits, yeah. it fits to this uh, <laughs> screen size. And the uh, same for the right. 50 persons. Let's change it to 100 persons. And as you remember, you can change any property in any different uh, breakpoint. Center it. And uh, it's going to be the same for. 480 breakpoint, as you can see, and then same for 320. <coughs> so, yeah, and now for the space, let's turn like margin top value here, 5 EM, and margin button. Five. Uh, five. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> as you can see, we have a nice fluid uh, website. Like, if you are going to preview mode, you can see if you are changing between the breakpoints. There is a changing background color to text widget. Uh, still, we have three columns for a grid, and we are going to smaller breakpoint. You see, it breaks to two columns of grid, and the uh, shop container breaks to one column back is in 100% uh, container, and content also is 100%. And it's Stays in smaller breakpoints also. And if you want to look in the live preview, you can copy the link and open in uh, Chrome. If you not a window, paste it. And now you can see your project. You can make smaller uh, browser width. And as you can see, in some breakpoint breaks to two columns here. And I think it's really easy with front to like create uh, play with those uh, breakpoints and uh, show and hide different uh, content and the break content to 
uh, like into two columns or one or hide any of an element uh, for the mobile screens and for that not only for the mobile for different devices screen sizes and feel free to play with the front and feel free to ask questions uh, if you couldn't understand something yeah if you have any questions you can uh, ask send our uh, questions to like our email yeah or uh, you can also <coughs> Leave comments on the YouTube or Facebook on Twitter. Maybe we can go back uh, to the uh, screen share. Yeah, so here we are. Uh, we had one question from our viewers. Uh, it was that um, you started that with this first. Yeah. So what's the difference when you choose uh, mobile first? How the first? How you how you make the breakpoint? Uh, yeah, uh, in front, as you can see, if you are creating a new project, you can create blank page from mobile first or desktop first. Mm -hmm. If you are starting with mobile first uh, website, then you start with smallest uh, breakpoint. You mm -hmm. can set like 320 breakpoint. And uh, it just starts from the smaller screen. You can think about more about the content. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, if you will enlarge your browser size, mm -hmm. uh, it's it will stay like all all the content will stay uh, like the same in bigger screen sizes. And if you want to make like some changes in different breakpoints, you start from the smallest breakpoints to like uh, bigger breakpoints. And if you start from desktop uh, breakpoint, desktop first mm -hmm. uh, website. You're starting with the uh, like biggest breaker yeah. and going to the smallest. Uh, it's uh, uh, many designers say that uh, it's better to start with uh, mobile first uh, pages mm -hmm. because then you think about content, not uh, and you uh, stay like minimal and uh, you think about most important content for your website. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. That's yeah. That's, that's a good answer. So, uh, as I see, we have no no more questions. I have still like this uh, online workshop. Uh, it looks that it uh, could be one of the last things we have here. But uh, if you have any questions, uh, you can find really useful tips on our knowledge base page, or you can also ask us uh, in front or also in social um, social accounts like Facebook on Twitter, and we will help you with the questions you are asking for. And uh, if you want to hear something else in maybe next workshop, we don't need, uh, we don't know when it's going to be, but mm -hmm. you can go to our knowledge base, which is docs.front.com, and there is a section workshop. And you can register uh, for the next workshops. And uh, feel free to ask questions, what you want to hear more about, maybe breakpoints, or maybe even for text containers, or gradients. It's just feel free to ask any question. Yeah, and we will get back to you. So uh, thank you so much for listening. I hope that uh, we gave you some good advice. My name is Yanis. And did this. Did this. <laughs> and thank you. So thank for you for watching. Yes. See you. See you in next time.